Hi there, I'm John Crossingham, the senior writer for OwlConnected.com and Owl Magazine. Do you know what's coming up on September the 21st? It's National Science Reading Day. We're really excited about this and have plenty of ideas on how you can participate. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, we'll have some great news about how you or your class can enter a wonderful contest. So, what does reading about science look like? Well, it can take all sorts of different forms. One is books. This book, called Lost in Math by Sabine Hossenfelder, is really intense. Lots of stuff all about quantum physics and how the universe works and is put together, and to be quite honest, a lot of it really blew my mind. That's kind of the idea behind reading about science, expanding your horizons. Another place that I love to visit to get my mind blown is nasa.gov. Now that's the official NASA website. It is loaded with all kinds of photos and information, updates on current missions, future missions, really amazing stuff. Another really great resource for learning about science is owlconnected.com. Yes, our own website. We write articles every day, and a lot of them have to do with science. One of my favorite recent articles was one that we did on a sea pen, which is a kind of overgrown coral that was recently discovered in the deep sea and caught on video for the first time. The deep sea right now is almost as mysterious as deep space. Really exciting stuff, and we're so happy and honored to be able to share it with you, our readers. Okay, now it's time for that exciting news about the contest. To celebrate National Science Reading Day, Owl Kids is participating in a $3,500 book and magazine giveaway. How do you enter? On September 21st, read about science. It can be a novel, it can be nonfiction, magazine, website. As long as it's science-based, it qualifies. Then go to the website owlkids.com slash science reading day and find out how you can tell us about what you read to enter. If you need a little inspiration, we've also got you covered there. At the same website, there'll be tons of ideas on how you can read about science. All right, good luck, enjoy reading, and let's go science.